All right, so I have heard about this tick a lot, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have. Um, it's the Lone Star Tick, and apparently, if you get bit by this thing, there's a good chance that uh, you will get an allergy to red meat. And I wasn't sure if that was true for a while. Um, I had just heard about this, and then I got bit by one. And um, not only did I get bit by one, I was hiking. This was in Ocala. And I, a few hours had gone by and I went to go take a shower. And there was one right under my boob here. It was right down there. And it was just hanging there. And I ripped it off and I was so um, worried. I mean, I did some research, but I was so worried that, you know, basically from what I understand is that it can't affect you with the, the, thing it has the bacteria it has until it's been on for like 12 hours something like that and I, it hadn't been 12 hours so i literally was so anal about it that i would just scratch where it was and, <laughs> and literally like dug a hole in my skin trying to get any bit of it out and i never had a problem so i i got lucky i guess um so basically this woman, Christina Carlson, uh, pulled a tick off her torso in North Carolina in September of 2020. Um, and back home in Mississippi a month later, she felt bloated. There was aching in her joints and her stomach. Uh, they ran a bunch of tests and she got a rash. They thought maybe it was shingles, but the rashes didn't get better. And then um, she was asked at the doctor's office if she had a tick bite. This led to another... Uh, blood tests that revealed antibodies associated with alpha gal, a sugar found in the meats and fats of non primate mammals. Alpha gal syndrome is an allergic reaction that can arise from someone who is bitten by a lone star tick. Named for the white dot on the back of the adult females, the tick are historically located in the south central and southeastern US. Uh, they transmit the alpha gal molecule from mammals um, they fed on and uh, people they bite. Uh, the ticks have been found in New Jersey and New York State's Long Island, with sporadic reports farther north along the eastern seaboard and parts of the Midwest, and is prompting research to consider potential long term complications of AGS and further verify the cause of the allergy using genetic modified meat. Um, so it says, normally when a person eats meat from non-primate mammals, such as cows and pigs, their body does not react to alpha-gal. But when a, tick bites introducing, uh, introduce, when a tick bite introduces the molecule, the immune system recognizes it as an invader and produces antibodies known as immunoglobulin, uh, tailored against it. So basically, it makes your body al allergic to um, that uh, molecule that is found in red meat and therefore you cannot eat red meat anymore oh geez i got lucky i love red meat someone's gonna th you're gonna think i'm weird for saying this literally some i said some to somebody when i eat my steak i get it blue like i basically get it as raw as it can legally be sold um and she was like you wouldn't eat this raw piece of steak and she cut off a little piece like this big and i just ate it it's a, I don't have a problem with it. I literally like only cook my steak like 15, 30 seconds on each side. Um, yeah. Anyway, after eating Carlson would immediately experience tingling and sometimes sores in her mouth within 24 hours. She would often suffer eye irritation, joint inflammation, rashes, the different parts of her body and swelling in her left arm. Hmm. There's currently no treatment or antidote for AGS itself. So yeah, once you get it, that's it. You have it. There's nothing they can do about it. Um, and I think like, I don't have any problems. I have some of those symptoms sometimes, but it hasn't, I don't think it has anything to do with, um, this, oh man, she had to cut out everything. I cut out hoofed animal products and the rashy infection joint, uh, inflammation all went away. Well, at least, at least there's, I mean, there are worse things, but yeah, this tick right here, this tick right here, if you see one that looks like this, uh, don't mess with it. Don't mess with it. Try to 
check yourself when you go hiking. That's always what you do. You check yourself top to bottom, make sure there's nothing in your nooks and crannies because the last thing you want is to not be able to eat one of the best things there is to eat, which is red meat. I am sorry, but I'm not sorry. Red meat is fantastic. So I feel bad for this lady, but yeah, it's just something that happens. But yeah, then they talk about how they are trying to, let's see, the animals are genetically modified uh, to be free of alpha gal because the sugar also causes the human body to reject pig organs. In 2020, the U.S. Oh, so you can't. Man, I don't know. I. They're using pigs. To try to. What? We're trying to understand how they. I mean, so what? They're using pigs. Wait, which race pigs to provide organs for transplants into humans? Ugh. Would you want a pig organ? Would you want a pig organ? I don't know if it would be worth it. I think I would be like, just take me out at that point. If they got to put a pig organ in me. Anyway, thought that was interesting. 100,000. I've been wanting to make a video on it. I've been so busy over the past few days, the past week. I'm about to go up to Tennessee for a week and hopefully do some herping while I'm up there. And But I'll be making videos as we go um as well that's uh that's definitely on my radar um thank you guys for liking commenting subscribing all that good stuff if there's something you want me to go over let me know let me think what you think about the situation have any of you guys been bit by this tick and have had this reaction please let me know i'd greatly appreciate it anyway thank you guys for watching liking and subscribing and i'll see you on the next one